Hey guys, Joe Blue here, back again with the final uh, ranked journey episode. Um, I actually forgot to record the audio for this one as well, but I'm going to do a, a commentary over the top of this one. Um, so I'm going to have to <laughs> sit through this and watch it again, and I'll just uh, comment. Maybe we'll uh, fast forward, rewind any uh, interesting things that may or may not happen in this footage. I can't really remember what happened too much in this one. I, I, all I remember really is that it became almost impossible to play at this uh, at this rank in Diamond. It's pretty much dropped down, immediately annihilated. Um, this was kind of just happening repeatedly, um, pretty much. I think I was playing uh, music over the top of this one. I thought if I can't Alt Tab, I think I've got to turn like recording the desktop on to be able to alt tab out which you didn't have to do in the old shadow play um <laughs> what I'm doing here mate Jennifer skin, Siri skin. Siri, Siri skin did look alright, man, but I don't know. Didn't bother with it. Pretty good glider. I ain't gonna lie, it's a pretty good glider. Let's just be like a like a baby cockatrice or something like that. Because the cockatrice is actually pretty big, and it's pretty pretty big in The Witcher 3. I mean, that's about as far as I got in The Witcher 3. I need to go back and play it. I said I did get a bit further than that. Uh, the Witcher 3, I do need to play it. I never got around to finishing it. I played the previous Witcher games, although it did it did take me. It did. I bought I bought the original Witcher when it came out in 2006. In fact. 2006, when I first became a PC gamer, I moved from the Xbox 360. As it went from the Xbox 360 to the Nintendo Wii, I got the Nintendo Wii when it first came out. And I sold it within about a month of it coming out on the basis of the fact that I wasn't really playing um, Wii games on it. I got kind of sick and tired of having to waggle my joypad all the time to play a game. I just wanted to sit and chill and play a game. I ended up playing a lot of GameCube games on it. GameCube games that I hadn't had the opportunity to play because I never had a GameCube like the the Resident Evil remakes, RE1 and RE0, which wasn't a remake, but you know, what I mean, like those were some of the Resident Evil. As a Resident Evil game fan, those are the two Resident Evil games I hadn't had a chance to play. So 2006, I was able to actually play those for the first time, um, and then I just sold it, got rid of it because I just wasn't using it. Um, I just wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't really using it for the Wii games. So I ended up getting a PC. And The Witcher was one of the first games that I bought. The, the Witcher and Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl were the first games I bought on PC. Um, and it actually took me... I probably didn't actually finally complete The Witcher until... Um, I think The Witcher 3 had already come out. <laughs> I think I've, I've, I attempted to complete it so many times and got to about the second act. And then never... Um, Never finished it. This is, this is bullshit. Yeah, I'm sure that's legit, man. I'm sure that's legit. Watch it again. Frame by frame. I've got the drop on them, basically. I mean, is that legit? I mean, I mean, is this, is this where the bullet's starting from? Way back over here? And I'm getting this hit over here? I think I'm shooting their gun. Taking it, I'm taking a hit again. Even though their gun is like past my model, I'm taking another hit. Up in the air, is that another hit that I'm taking here? Is that just previous? No, no, I'm taking a hit. I just took a wallet there. 
of uh, damage if I'm in the air. Look at that. I'm literally like shooting. I'm shooting through their legs, mate. And I'm not getting any hit markers. These guys don't have to aim on me to get all the hit markers in the world. And I'm literally, I'm clapping them between their legs and I'm not even going to get, I'm not even going to get a hit marker. I'm not even going to get any damage done. I've got 126 damage there. Look at this. Aim it up in, the, up in the air here. Look at this. I'm taking damage from this shot here. Oh, and I'm dead. Not a, single, not a single one of them shots actually hit me. Not legit, man. But their name was like SK, SK, SA 0083B-4. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's not a legit name, is it? I mean, clap a root there by a skank skin. Uh, bad shooting that. Uh. I think it's like just under an hour this uh, run. I don't think it's uh, as long as the other ones. I was going to do one one more after this one, but um, couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Simple as that, mate. Couldn't be bothered. Um, oh, yeah. I think this guy was cheating, man. I think he was cheating. It's just like, it just seemed like, I think he dropped somewhere else, loaded up, and then um, redeployed his glider or whatever. And um, I should have uh, missed that co cooler there. Oh no, maybe this is a different, different one, I don't remember. And I think, no, 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 I killed this guy. This guy's fine. It's the guy that comes later, who never dropped here, who just like, decides to drop. It doesn't make any sense why I do that. This has got like walls, maybe. Oh no, this is a different, a different game entirely. Let's watch that again. So.
drop down. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't even get I can't even get a hit mark even though I'm like two centimeters away from their body. I can't get a hit there. Get a first hit on their elbow there. And then they shoot me. Look, what's this fucking shit? Like that's that that they're shooting here. Their bullets are here. This the this is the, they got a shotgun, right? They've got I've got an SMG. They've got the uh, frenzy auto shot. They fired. Their bullets are bending here towards the table. Pixelation. They're shooting. You can say that's probably a legit shot. Going a bit pixelated, I'm afraid. I take a shot straight to the front. It's hard to tell if they're aiming on me or not, but it seems legit. Um, however, I don't think the kill shot is legit. I mean, that's bullshit right there. Like, it's nowhere near me, man. You look at that. It's like almost when I die, it's like almost like all of a sudden it snaps to me. That shot, mate. Shot's going nowhere near me, mate. It's way past me. Then as soon as I die, is that all of a sudden it like seems a lot closer to me than it than it was when it actually fired. Some shenanigans going on there, mate. Fucking grey auto shot. Eat. Bad drop, mate. Bad drop. I mean, like, I think two, two of the three shots. I mean, what was that? Three shots, I'm dead. I think two of the three shots seemed legit. But, like, that last shot was nowhere near me, man. And that first shot they fired, their bullets bent towards the table. So even if the second and third shot looked more legit, it was hard to tell because my body was actually obfuscating where the shot was uh, coming from. But, um... The fact that their first bullet bent toward 90 degree angle toward the table and then um, the final shot was like nowhere near me but when I died it almost seemed like the the bullet trajectory and the and the player almost snapped closer to my body once I died um, and something weird going on there I think they got aim bar though in it like I say you can't trust nobody with the uh, star wand in it like whenever you see someone with the star wand they're almost always a cheater it's the symbol of the cheater the star wand I'm not saying every cheater uses a star one, but it's it's like an it's like an anime avatar. If you've got anime avatars or anime profiles, they're probably a cheater. If they've got a star wand in Fortnite, they're probably a cheater. But not every cheater uses a star wand. And not every uh, and not every legit player uses a star wand. And not you know what I'm saying, like legit players can also use a star wand. You know? I'm just saying that mostly if you see a star wand, probably a cheater. Oh yeah, I think this is the uh, the other classy drop where I think this is one with the uh, cheater that I kill. I kill the cheater, a bit of a panic situation. Um, but um, they didn't drop here. They dropped somewhere else, and then they redeployed their glider and then dropped after I'd already like looted the place up. And it's just like, why would you go to a place what would be clearly already looted 
unless you knew that there was a player there and he basically was running directly towards me seems a little bit sus man and uh yeah i think he had an aimbot man but because i had a gun turret down he, he got slapped up by the gun turret and he had to uh, make a quick retreat and i actually make a mistake um he, he drops down a porta fort and i start eating a shield fish and i thought that the the bottom level of the port of fort was like all walls so i thought i'm safe to eat the fucking shield fish and there's a big hole big hole he's under the port he can basically got clear shot at me it really worked into my benefit because he basically panicked shot missed a bunch of shots hit some of them but then he was forced to reload and that that, that basically is how i got the kill on him I remember that, yeah, I jumped up the thing like a spoon. I'm jumping around, like, I'm jumping around, I don't want to get shot, mate. And then I fucking cancel my, uh, the uh, big, big part in it. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I got loads of gold anyway, and it's the last day, so it makes no difference. Well, I think I hear, I think I see someone start gliding in soon. If someone glands there, I pick up. This is definitely because I pick up the gun turret. Okay. AR. Um, yeah, I think I'm up. I go up to that roof there on the building, and then I see the glider symbol. I take. I took that. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I think I jump up here, and then I see it. I think I. I'm trying to think what this sample's from on this track. Is it Jaws? It's from a horror film, anyway. I'm trying to think. Well, as the track's finished now, anyway. But the track that I was playing there, I think there's a sample from Jaws or uh, another horror film. I'm not quite sure which one. It'll, it'll bug me now thinking about it. Here we go, here we go, the parachute dude comes in. So it's like he's come to this location, you think. Like, somebody probably looted it all up, man. So unless you know that there's somebody in, he starts running literally directly towards my direction. Could have seen me, but I uh, dropped the turret down. Look at them shots, mate. Get the fuck, mate. Pulling it back. Look at this shit. So I dropped the, I dropped the turret down there. This is what immediately put the panic in me. And I ended up fumbling a bunch of shots. As soon as you get into a shot, and then, look, that shot goes that way across. Okay, I didn't get hit by that one. But then these shots, I'm literally, like, fully around this corner, mate. Like, that. Come on, man, I'm getting hit markers here. Hit markers here, bro. Mate, do you drop fucking... Do you get hit and drop these fucking mosaic pieces or what? Do you get them stolen off you when you get hit? Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm getting hit multiple times here. Look at it, he can't even see me, he doesn't even have, doesn't look, apparently, I, oh, that's my turret that's hitting him, that's why. And then I get hit again, dude, dude, he's facing that way. Look, one, like, surely this bullet here, 
that's coming from his gun, right? And then some of the bullets have like decided to diverge towards me. Dude, come on, man. It's a ridiculous shot. Right? Oh, does it have to pixelate, please? Dude, it's bending towards me. The barrel is facing that way. The bullets are literally bending towards me. And they're hitting me where I'm not. I'm literally on this angle here. Like, th there's no way, like, you can say, oh, it's ping abuse. Or, you know, it's lag or whatever. His bullets are bending. From where the barrel is facing. So like his, his, his barrel's facing towards the, tu the turret. And his bullets are bending towards me. Right. So immediately once that happens mate. Like I've already got the panic in. That oh, I'm dealing with a cheater man. I'm, it's not a fair fight. So that's already affected my ability to shoot isn't it. So I'm gonna miss a bunch of shots here because I'm panicking. I'm panicking because I know this guy's. I know this guy's a cheater. So um, I got the panic and it's, it's fucking me over. And I think, oh, quick fish. Oh shit. Uh, oh, I forgot the fucking side was there. The, it forced him into a reload, man. And I, and I won. And they have a crown as well. You know, like I said in the last video, like pretty much anyone who's got a crown, they're pretty much a cheater because they're winning games consistently. And to win games consistently, you gotta fucking be a cheater. So I'm gonna troll him. I'm going to give him the bird is the word, mate. <laughs> a deserved bird is the word, man. Because he's cheating. He's a cheater, man. He deserves to get clapped, man. I actually end up running here like a spaz, not realising that's where the uh, the circle was. I thought I was still being chased by the storm here for quite some time until I realised, oh, no, the uh, the storm's not actually chasing me anymore. All right. But unfortunately, I didn't even look, see, the, see the map unless I was... Looking at the, uh, I, I just, I just thought the, uh, I wasn't paying attention. And I think I get to that rock there, and then I realise it's not, it's not chasing me, and then I heal. But yeah, could have uh, just moved a little bit and potentially had looted up some of the uh, other stuff. I think I might have left a, a, de a decent weapon or two back there. I'm not sure. Still trying to think where that sample's from. Like in my head, I'm thinking either Jaws, like Psycho, maybe The Shining, you know, like one of them, one of them kind of films. Um, I'm thinking Jaws, though, you know, like when our like Brody's on the beach and the kid gets eaten, and then the 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 uh, the camera like all zooms in on Brody's face. I'm sure it's like from that sort of scene, but I might be wrong. Why does he just, why does he, why does he, why does he smash up the, the ammo boxes and not just pick them up? Like, it doesn't make it faster, it makes it slower. For reasons, isn't it? <laughs> for reasons, bro. I can't remember what happens in this one. I can't remember how I die.
round up. Still gone. I don't quite remember what happened, and I think I tried to sneak up on this guy. I think I sneak up on a bunch of dudes. I think I get a kill or two, but I think I get clapped. It might have been a legit death, actually. I'm trying to think. I mean, appears to be legit, potentially. I mean, um, doesn't mean that it is legit, even if it looks legit. I think my play style here was um, um, if I instead of having mobility, I'm like going for the anti mobility build as soon as I do it down the left. I'm going for like the anti mobility build. If I can just sneak up to somebody with stealth, because I don't have any real long range, long range weapons, I'm thinking if I can just stealth up, get close to somebody, drop the turret on their head, and then just fucking pump them up, mate, uh, was the kind of the plan. So I'm marking toward the center of the zone, so I have my bearings. That dude then? Yeah, it is a dude. That is a dude. Did I not see that dude? Was I blind? I think there's a dude that just went straight across the screen there and I didn't see it when I was in game. He was up there, up the rock. Maybe I did see it because I'm heading towards it. Yeah, I think there's a dude up here. Am I heading towards him? Did I see him or is it just coincidental that I'm walking this way? Am I actually going for the cash? Mm, I can't remember what my thinking was behind getting the cash. I think it was just because oh yeah, I wanted to I wanted to swap out the thunder, the thunder SMG. If I'll get anything else, um, than than a thunder SMG, I wanted a, a replacement for that. I figured I'll get the cash. Now a relatively decent hiding spot because I've got the, uh, the the hills behind me. This tree gives me a bit of cover, and I'm in a sort of pocket, so it's hard to see. So I figured I should be relatively safe to chill here and get the cash. Not the best, but better than nothing. What's he doing? He's looking through the he's looking through the hills of his wall hacks. What's I do? No, it's tricky. <laughs> I, I think I think this is exactly what I said in game at the time, and I've done the same thing twice. That's that's pretty crazy. Super far away, man. Do I go Sky Island? I can't remember. 
I do go to Sky Island. I remember how I die now. Yeah, this person is aimbotting me. 100% aimbot. Wall hacks as well, I think. And they even tried to shoot me in fucking camo, mate. Look at that, mate. I'm in fucking camo. They hit me as well, man. They hit me and I was in camo. Yeah, he's using footstep indicators, but still. A little bit sus. You know what I mean? I should have just been able to hold this fucking area with the gun turret, man, but, like, this one person just, like, kills everybody and, like, just skanks around. Look at that. They just clap that person there. And they're running around on the roof. Like, they just one-tap that person with, like, a sniper shot. You know what I mean? Look at that man, popping out bang one tap on me. I'm in motion as well. Get out of it, mate. Look at that, I'm in motion, I'm moving forward. Oh shit. Um. Skanking away. Roof gets blown, I see him run to the right there. I move forward. And they pop out. Bang me, like quite close to my head, like chest. That's a good shot. I mean, if I was further back, it might have been a miss, or you know what I mean. Bullet seems to be fucking trailing there. Look at that shoot down there, Look at this shot, mate. Look how look how wide this shot is. This is a shotgun blast. Why is it that the, the, the bullet pellets are so spread out, so wide? Yeah, sometimes they're tight as fuck. Yeah, this one's literally super widespread and only the middle pellets hit me. All the other pellets seemingly miss me. So that doesn't make any sense. So I get clapped there for like what? All my overshields? And uh, I know I think it already hit me with my overshield. That hit me with that's about uh, thirty, like fifty odd damage, maybe fifty six damage or something like that. Exhalation, and they jump up in the air somehow using anti grav. Um, my gun turret doing basically sweet fuck all. Um, miss those shots from flying through the air. Gonna get one shot here. Yeah, I'm sure that's a legit shot. The one that comes out doesn't fucking hit me where I am. Clash me for like 20 damage. And I hit them for like 7 damage. I mean, 
That's a striker, right? Seven damage. And they're hitting me for like one bullet. 20 fucking odd damage. Fucking finally get some damage in here. And they're fucking hitting me. And then this shot is the one that kills me. And again, it's like, it's not even where I, where I am. It's where I was. Look at that, they're stepping out, bang, shooting me. It's just like, no. Um, Like these people, I like, don't. It's like it's like they don't have recoil. Like they seem to like always know where you are. And uh, I don't even think I could see their footsteps when they were like poking out and shooting me and shit. Um, I don't want to go back and check, but um, it seemed like uh, they knew where my location was, and I I only had to I only had the the visuals to go on what I could see in it. Um, do I drop it reckless? I think I had a reason to drop that. I think maybe I picked the um, mission to drop a reckless to do a quest, and I think I immediately get killed. Oh no, okay, I go glacier. Just been a different run or a different game. I need to get. I need to get in on. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to Fortnite after this and just sort out all my uh, skins and wraps and emotes and that. Since they changed the new uh, to the new system, it's super awkward, man. If you want to like quickly swap some emotes and stuff over, man, the new system just it's like it's better and it's worse at the same time. Bit of frame rate drops there that I keep getting for some reason. Boom! Got him. Uh, I think I ended up going all around the edge uh, of the building, but never actually find this other dude. I landed here. And... I probably should have just bought more uh, shield potions immediately after this, just to fucking sell out the uh, the machine, make sure I get all more. But uh, since I had the goal to do it, there's no reason not to really. But I didn't. I think I ended up coming, coming back here and rehealing anyway. Low berries out.
Jose, come on. Collect ammo for my eliminated players. Player there. Probably bad idea to start that. I guess my idea was that it would bait them out to try and uh, attack me again, and which it does. But um, look how much damage I'm taking. That's clearly a player there. That's rinsing me up for all them shields there. Definitely a player over there. I can't remember if I killed this player or not. Another player on my right on a bike. Or a car even. Got a banana man there. Why didn't they let you change the colours on, on that decal, man? Why did they give you set colours for some of those decals, man? Mate, they need to give more, like, skins and options for cars and stuff, man. Like, this season doesn't even have any fucking car skins. You've got fucking Fortnite Festival skins. Like, who gives a... F does, does anybody care about that mode? I've not even played it. Oh, there's a dude. No way, man. That shot then. Hold up. Dude, fuck off. Look, look at the time to react. I'm right in front of his face. I hit him. I saw him. Think he's so slow at reacting to even knowing that I'm there. Mate, he's just hit me. I'm way past him. He's took my overshields and a good chunk of my actual shields. I'm way past him. Mate, I need, there needs to be a better friggin' media player that can do like frame by frame shit better than uh, VLC, man. I slap him up there. Claps me when I'm over the back of his shoulder. Spins straight to me like a fucking robot. Fucking claps me. This is the big banger, mate. This, this shot right here claps me for a lot of fucking help. That shit. Boom. It was pretty much dot on, man. But how is it that the dude can hit me when I'm clear past his shoulder? Okay, go, that's like that, that is. Yeah, when he hits me here, it's more central to me, more on target. How can it be laggy on some bullets and then not laggy on other bullets? Like, doesn't that, like, suggest that maybe it's an aim bot, like silent aim, the not lag where I'm, when I'm being hit where I'm not sometimes? The silent aim looks like it's on target, and sometimes it hits me when it's not on target. Was that another player that's just dropped in behind me there? Honestly, I, I just don't know why people fucking 
cheat. And to be honest, like, like going forward in the, the future of, like, consoles and that, I actually think, legit, like, for all competitive games, like, if you're playing, like, a ranked mode, if you're playing ranked... Mate, get the fuck out of here. So he grapples to not where I am, and he doesn't. He actually grabs to the wall there. But you think if it was lag, he might actually hit me with that. But like he doesn't get any damage on that. Um, so I shoot, get like a little bit of like damage up with the like left three um, pellets. Not a full shield, but I'm quite healthy in a healthy state, um, and. And with that 20, I mean, they still got overshields, I guess. But I do have overshields, so it's somewhere even in this particular situation, we're somewhat even in terms of health and shields. And I've got the drop on them again, it's another 34, so they've actually got less health than me now. Um, I missed those shots there. Like, they're not looking at me. Look at this, like, look at this shit. They hit me now, man. Dude, come on, man. Like, are people really going to tell? Like, the dudes, they're, they're hitting me right now. I'm getting hit. Look at this, man. They're not even looking at me. They're on a nine degree angle. They're looking elsewhere, man. I'm getting hit for this shit. Another shot being fired. How come that shot doesn't hit me though, innit? How come that shot that doesn't hit me either? The 90 degree one did. That hits me, I think it's... I think back over here, I think this is where it's being hit, right? So they're shooting me back where I was. Like, look, they're, they're aiming up this way. That's the hit marker I'm being hit here. Like, how is that not... How, why is that I don't get any hit markers here, man? I hit them. Like, that, literally that two centimeters away from their body. I'm not even going to get a hit marker. These guys can just hit me clearly where I'm not. I've got, I don't get any leeway at all. I'm being hit again. Here's the hit marker. Jumping up in the air and I'm getting clapped. It's hard to tell where the, where the shot actually is. That seems closer to being on target than all of the other shots. So it seems a little bit inconsistent that they can be closer on the aim on some and get the hit, be clearly further away on other shots and still get the hit. Like, you think, like, if it was lag, it would be consistent, but it doesn't seem that consistent. Like, but, like, they don't really miss any shots, you know what I'm saying? Either, so. Fucking aimbot, mate. Fucking aimbot. But as I was saying, anyway, I think, like, in the future, like, when it comes to, like, ranked modes, like, competitive modes... If you're on console, force keyboard and mouse. No cons no controllers. If you want to play in a ranked competitive mode, you've all got to play on keyboard and mouse. It has to be a 50 ping limit. If you can't achieve 50 ping, you can't play the game in a ranked mode. And you can't use any other, you know, software, cheat, you know, all shebang or whatever, right? It's forcing everyone on the same ping within the same regions. And the same like peripherals in ranked competitive modes. No aim assist, no bullshit. Like if you want to play normals, you can play controllers and you can play like, you know, with your friends in other regions and all that sort of stuff. But ranked competitive, same peripherals, same ping, same region, no 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 bullshit, no shenanigans, man. For proper competitive mode. Cause how can you have a competitive mode when dudes from Russia and China can play on your server? And kill you with 200 ping in it or whatever. Whatever ping they're on. And shoot you from when you're around corners and shit. It's not fucking competitive mate. And how is it competitive when. With people on controller when. Controller aim assist can pretty much. Uh, batter. Most. Uh, keyboard and mouse players at close range. So how can you have competitive modes like ranked modes. Where it's supposed to be about skill. When there's uh, things that are clearly. Giving people advantage. That aren't related to their skill. Like uh, Got to get rid, mate. You want proper competitive modes. No controllers. Say within the same... Within a 50 ping limit. And within the same region. 
No aim assist. And you got to force keyboard and mouse, man. Consoles can use keyboard and mouse. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to force everyone onto the same peripherals. For ranked competitive modes, at least. To the bare minimum. Like, console players need to stop playing keyboard and mouse in it. Like, I think after I, I honestly think it should just be further. Than I think any any competitive shooter, whether it's normal or com or competitive modes, or console players should all be forced keyboard and mouse. If you're not willing to play keyboard and mouse, like uh, don't play shooters in it. A controller is a poor, a poor, t a poor tool or form of control for a shooter anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like controllers aren't suitable for shooters. Another a classy court drop. Um, I really can't remember what happens on this one more than anything. That legendary fucking SMG. I do remember this one. I think I get one kill and then I get clapped by a dude with a clearly inferior weapon. I got a legendary SMG and I think I lose a fight to somebody. Um, I think uh, I see some shooting up there and I go and run on this guy. I think I get the kill on this guy. Um, I think he's a little bit sus, but I can't quite remember. But I know I end up getting killed by somebody and I'm like. Dude, I've got a fucking legendary SMG. How am I losing this fight? Or does this person kill me? I think this person might even get me. No, no, that's right. I killed this person. Somebody else immediately shows up and I'm like... I mean, I don't know how I, I lost this fight. I think I missed some shots, I think, but... Um, I think I, I think I get this person with just. I think they were cheating potentially. I think it was a bit sus actually, but I think it's just my better uh, cautiousness that won me the uh, game here. Oh, I think I remember now. Mate, super sus, mate. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit sus. Um, I don't think I get time to heal properly, I don't think. And that's how I end up getting clapped. Because someone's already clapped shooting at me from fucking... Super far, mate. I was thinking, like, if they called in their cheater friends to, like, uh, to come and fucking help in here. Like, come on, man. How am I losing? Green auto shotty. Legendary SMG. Come on, guys. 
VD slam. I mean, it felt like it felt like when I was in the game, it just felt like they just called in quick, phone up on their Discord server quick. Uh, uh, Captain Blue, Joe Blue just killed me. I need you to send in all cheaters for backup and make sure you kill this guy for me. And I'm not a full fucking health and shields and shit, man. This is a legendary wet. You think I'm going to get some fucking serious damage down here? So uh, we we'll start off the damage here. 16, 32. Spinning around. They haven't even got a shot on me. Come on. Bending bullets. Those bullets are bending. Dude, that's fucking, that's a snap, right? Like, they, that, like, look where the bullet's coming from, the trajectory of where the bullet was fired. They suddenly went snap, like they skipped a few animations of, uh, of, of animation and started to turn towards me. But they're originally facing like this direction and, and this bullet's like bending towards me. Getting all that damage down, all that damage down, all that damage down. Legendary SMG here, mate. That's probably the most legit looking shot of them all. But tell me, how is it that they can hit me if it's, if it's fucking lag? How can they hit me full on like that when moments ago they were literally shooting me, bending around corners, mate, like their bullets bending towards me? Jumping up in the air, shooting me here. Doing the damage, mate. Damage, bro. Like, how can their how can, how can their bullets now be on target when the first shot that they shot at me was clearly nowhere near me? Yet now all their shots are closer to me. How does that make sense from a lag point of view? That the first shot was literally nowhere near me. They weren't even facing me. The bullet was bending towards me. And now, as the fight is going on, now some of their shots seem a little bit more legit, like a little bit more on target. So how does lag explain it? That not that contradictory? Mate, the damage. The damage. 176. Their shields are, are broken. 176. 14 damage. Fucking 208 damage. How much fucking health have these guys got, man? And then I'm dying. I can't even tell where the bullet is that's actually, actually hitting me from. Like, it looks like they're aiming above me. Like, these shots look like I'm being aimed above. I, I'm, they're, they're my hit markers. I'm pretty sure they're, like, aiming they're aiming this way, where the, you know, where the barrel's coming from, aiming above. Yeah, that's they're, they're, not on target, man. They're not hitting me on target with that shot there. That's cheating, mate. That guy's aimed by me. Diamond 2. Look at that, straight onto a friggin' legendary striker. Took him, take my legendary SMG. They dropped the legendary SMG for the striker. Why are they rocking the auto shot? Green auto shot. 
They're dropping a legendary SMG for a, a green auto shotty. Like, it just seems like the auto shotty is the aimbotter's weapon of choice, isn't it? Because they can just go bang, 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 bang. I'm pretty sure when I'm getting hit, like the pellets that you see hitting me, like, are, are like, it's like all the pellets bend towards me. Like the, the spread that I get when I fire the weapon, like, isn't the same as the spread when they fire their weapon. I think they've got to cheat to make all the pellets, like, bend toward the target and hit the target. So they're doing significantly more damage than a than an accurate legit player would do, innit? I think they're getting their pellets hit you even from ridiculous ranges where those pellets shouldn't all be hitting you, I think. That's why they drop a legendary SMG in favour of the auto shotty because a green auto shotty, when all the pellets hit, uh, does more damage and they can go bang, 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 bang and they can clap all your health away like instantly because they'll make all the pellets bend towards the target. OT. Um, I think there's only like two or three games left. I think they're pretty short games as well. I think I pretty much just drop and die uh, multiple times over. I don't think anything particularly Amazing happens.
think uh, that they were going towards a player, man, but I think the AI just decided to start going towards me, even though they didn't have any uh, visual eye contact of me. It was a bit weird. Maybe there was a player around, but I couldn't see a player. player shows up I think any second now I think a player shows up man maybe not oh that was I think I realized I wasted so much time I couldn't even get the chance to go to the loot room or even kill the boss it's annoying If that was a that was a good decision or not to pick up the small shields in favor of putting the shield breakers down. I mean, I do have the flowberry bottle or whatever. That's a player. I was just shooting. I thought I, I thought it was footsteps for a second. But it is. It is a. Uh, I see that guy over there. He seemed to be running towards me, but then as soon as I ran towards him, he was like, nah, I'm not having it. I started to run back. See him come to me so that I'd get the high ground, but then he just decides to bugger off in a different direction. Stick with the purple pistol, I think. Get in the bad loot, mate. Bad loot. I think I'll go into the uh, to the turtles lair in it and see if there's any weapons. I think somebody already opened up the the cash caches, remember? I think I I, I figured I pick up the scraps of blues in it. I think I get the blue 
pump and blue striker, I think. Or do I switch to a sniper? I switch to sniper, I think. Or do I? Uh, I've uh, debated it. I'm like. Oh. I think, yeah, go on then. Makes more sense, I think. Um, like if I if I went with the uh, if I went with the pump shotgun, then probably the pistol was probably better. But with the sniper, I think the uh, the frenzy auto shot is probably better for close range. I missed that ammo there, which is annoying because I I realised in a second that I've only got nine bullets on the sniper rifle. I should have been shooting some of these uh, um, supply drones down as well. I don't know why I was uh, not doing that. Maybe I just didn't want to expose myself in it. I didn't want to uh, lure people towards me. Quite a bit of distance to cover to get to the next bit of zone. No, not really. Yeah, definitely should have uh, been uh, oh, to play that. Definitely should have been uh, wrapping up some of them supply drones. Really parachuting, gliding. They've gone up the vortex, I think. A bit uh, sandwiched up, me in, in between these teams here. Um, he's using his wall hacks to look into the ground. There's players under the ground. Oh. Come on, I don't miss that shot, mate. No, don't miss them shots. Right there, mate. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Please, they just stand still. They just stand still. They take a shot. And then they just stand there and fucking... Yeah, sure, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's what you do in it. Like, when you were... Uh, when you get sniper shotted and you're out in the open, what you do is you stand still in the open and just return fire. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do in it. Not try to evade or run or anything like that. You just stay and shoot. Under pressure. Have been caught out in mid shot where you've been shooting somebody else. You take a shot, 116 uh, sh uh, shields and over shields. You get hit for a wallop. What you do is, I'm just going to stand still and return fire while I'm being shot up as well with a, with a, an assault rifle. So I'm taking my screen should be shaking, but uh, somehow I uh, let's go back. So. I go straight into the uh, into to the shot. Start firing. They start taking damage. Their screen should start shaking now. It should the screen should be shaking. And they're like sidestepping, shooting, and they just fucking get that shot on me, man.
Yeah, man. Two shots, mate. Back to back, mate. Yeah, shot. Um, okay, so that was actually the uh, the last game there. And um, these are the stats for end of season. We've got, uh, what is it, 76 matches played, one victory. In the entire ranked season, only one single ranked win. 1% win rate. I be I was top 10% for 13% of my game. So 10 times I was top 10%, 13% of the games. I was uh, top 25%, 25 times, 33% of my games. Average eliminations, one, 93 total eliminations. So yeah, it's a little bit sus. So let's have a look at my no ranked stats and um, I think I was mostly playing in uh, duos or whatever so seven victory royales five percent win rate um, and that's that's a uh, that's just normal games isn't it 35 times top 10 percent that's 26 percent of games 60 times I was top 25 percent 45 percent of games 134 matches played four average eliminations so that 400 and something or other total eliminations so this is this is this is a uh, zero zero wins in solo games only four games played though in standard solos uh, total of 12 eliminations and then uh, just duos which is mostly just playing low low mmr with my mate so seven wins in lower mmr 130 matches played 487 total eliminations average of four eliminations like even in lower mmr normal games with bots you think i'd have more than a five percent win rate in lower mmr so these are the stats then for, for the end of season so it's pretty much basically ranked Ranked seasons are ranked solo play, 1% win rate for the entire season with only one single win. And in lower MMR in duos, a 5% win rate and uh, seven wins with more games played. So uh, twice as many games played. So you could say, let's just say for argument's sake, if I played twice as many ranked games, I'd get a 2% win rate. Let's just say I'd, I'd get at least one more win in the same amount of games. That seems pretty fair to say. I mean, I don't think I'd win any games. I think that first game was just a fluke. But let's just say, let's just say for argument's sake, if I played twice as many games, I'd get one more win, 2% win rate. So I'm only 3% better. <laughs> I only get a 3% better win rate in lower MMR duos, right? This is not normal. It's not normal at all. These sort of stats literally scream the game is being rigged. It's not rigged, it's because of cheaters, which technically it's rigged to the cheaters, but it's not rigged like rigged by some kind of matchmaking type thing. You know, there is a bit of matchmaking element going on here. It's mostly due to the fact that the cheaters, the people who are killing me, even in the lower MMR games, mostly of them are aimbotters and ping abusers. So it's just, these stats are clearly uh, due to the fact that people are cheating so this is the final ranked journey of this season um i don't think i'm going to be doing any more ranked journeys it'll mostly just be any sort of fortnite gameplay is probably just going to be mixed in with my highlights any kind of cheater analysis will be done separately as as i used to do and um i'll just i'll, I'll just be doing it like that so uh yeah gg guys leaders so here is the uh the only win the only single win was on day three of my rank journey. This was the only win of the entire season. Um, play through here. And uh, zone was coming in. Let's move forward a little bit. Let's move forward a little bit. I, I thought I heard shots or heard people coming from the left side here. But it was a complete miss here on my part. And the audio is stuttering, so you couldn't even hear what I was, what I was hearing. But it felt like I, I heard something on my left, but it wasn't there. Uh, the audio cuts out for some reason. Um, and I figured I'd hold this position here because they'd have to come through this way because I thought they were over there somewhere. Could have sworn I heard gunshots, something coming from there, but it just wasn't anyway. So we we'll skipped forward, ended up uh, realizing or seeing them. I think I can't remember. Move forward. I have the grapple hook. I'll grapple across here. Took a nice bit of chunk of damage there. That was a bit dumb. Wasn't expecting to actually take that much damage. So I see the footsteps here. So I see them running. But let's come back a little bit because I think I saw them before that. Or did I? Maybe not. Yeah, they're done damage here. When I come up here and I see the footsteps, they start running towards me. Got this uh, legendary shotty. Let's 
basically fall down and I basically get the shot as I slide down the side. Dude, it seemed like a total bot. The fact that he's got that uh, that skin on there to suggest that he was basically just camping in bushes probably all game. Like I say here, feels like I was fed the kill, but uh, a seven will a seven kill win either way. So I got seven eliminations in that game and I got that victory royale. But the last dude seemed like a complete bot compared to the other people that I'd killed up to this point. This guy was like a total bot. And this is the only win that I get the entire season was against a player who clearly had no idea what he was doing. That's the only win that I get in the game. Like, tell me how this is a legit play. Like, it, it just isn't. This is clearly the reason why I can't win games is because of cheaters. That's the only reason. It's the only thing that makes logical sense. Because there's just no way that I, I'd, I would not even win more games like this accidentally. One accidental win because the person that was at the end was just bad at the game. That's the only way that I got a win. It was, you know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. There's no way you can tell me any other way. This is because of cheating. This is the only win the entire season. This is why Fortnite is full of cheaters. Latest guys, GG. They're coming for you. Look, look, there comes one of them now.